I think it's a, it's an idea that uh, Bill Sharman and Joyce uh, Sharman had put together, uh, and, and they're going to do this film on the 33-game streak. Um, and I think it's their idea. I mean, you know, Bill uh, Sharman was the architect. I think, at least I believe, the architect of our team there in '72. Um, and I think it's great. Uh, there's a lot of guys that I haven't seen for a long, long time, and uh, it's uh, it was a very special uh, year, a very special time. Uh, certainly in my life, and I think for most everybody uh, all, uh, that was part of the team. I understand he has a license plate with the, with the street. That's what I understand. I have not seen it, but seen no, it. I have not seen it, but I, that's what I understand. It's great. When you're talking about Coach Sharman as the architect, what, what kind of foundation did you lay for him? Well, you know, this was his first year as a coach for the Lakers, and he came in, and, you know, we went right away, we went to Hawaii for training camp, which sounds all, oh, it's glamorous, right? Not, yeah. not at all. Very hot, very humid, and he ran the hell out of us. Uh, he, gave, he got us all in shape. Uh, we were in better shape, I think, than any team that we faced that year. Uh, but he brought in a whole culture and a whole style of play that was different from the Lakers before. Uh, it was really patterned much how Boston Celtics played when he was playing. And, uh, you know, so I think that helped lay the foundation. And we got off to a, to a very good start. You know, we were 6-3, and three, then we went on that streak. Uh, the next thing we knew, we were 39-3. and three. Uh, 30, Yeah, 39-3. Yeah, 39 and 6. No, 39 and 3. Yeah. Oh, my man. Huh. So, um, you know, so that confidence that grew from game to game, I think, was a very big contributor to the success of our, of our team. And, you know, when we went out on the court, we really knew we were going to win. Um, if you look during the, at the, 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 look back at the, the games, the, the 33 game streak, there are very few games that were even close. Um, and we were a team, we played together. Uh, we moved the basketball, we ran, we, we averaged 121 points a game, which is quite exceptional. Um, and so I, I consider him the architect. He brought in, in, in and put all the pieces together. You're a huge part of that scoring. What was the key to that? Well, I, I did. I, I, I was able to, uh, to score a lot of points. Um, all the guys would tell you I took a lot of shots, which is true. <laughs> but, you know, they got me the ball. Uh, and, 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 you know, I, I, we played together. Uh, you know, West uh, led the league in assists that year. Uh, and uh, no one ever really, when you talk about West's game, he never really talked about his assists uh, part of his game. He always talked about scoring, his defense, et cetera. But he could really pass the basketball. And uh, that league that year, he led the league in assists. Will led centers in assists. Um, and uh, so, you know, I, I, I had a lot of help from my teammates. I think you're fifth in scoring, if I'm not mistaken. Somewhere close to there. I don't. I don't know. I don't remember. No, but, I, looked, I looked it up. You're fifth in scoring. Oh, am I? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I, 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 I. That was the my best scoring year. Yeah. I, I but, I mean, you're talking about your teammates and all that. Do you attribute anything else as far as just uh, you know what prevents your mental with you getting the looks that you wanted? And, well, I think it was the style of play. Yeah. Um, and I think that you know one thing that I I think when you go to a team. You sort of look at the team and you, and you say, okay, how am I going to contribute? What do I bring to the table? Um, I could always score. Uh, I had the ability to go without the basketball and get open. And that helps when you're playing with great passers and great teammates who will get you the ball. That just encourages you to, to get open more. Um, so I was able to do that. Um, and again, I, West and I, for instance, I, I think we complemented one another very well. We could read each other. We had played together for a few years before, um, and we understood where each of us liked to get on the court, and we understood that when one player was starting his move or where he was on the court, to either to, to read that and to adjust. Uh, and I think that we did that very well together. What was the feeling at the beginning of the season? Because uh, I know Elgin had just retired. What was kind of the expectation coming in, just dealing with that transition? Well, I, I don't, first of all, I think Elgin played maybe eight or nine games, something like that, okay? And I think Elgin, you know, he was such a great player, and he could do so many things on the court. And, and my feeling was that 
it was time, you know, it becomes, when, a, when you're a player and had a great deal of success, and then you have great expectations, you know yourself when those start to fade a little bit. And you know, he had problems with his knees, and I think he just realized that that was probably about the time when um, he could not expect the results, the same results that he wanted from, from the prior years. Um, that was always my feeling about his retirement. Um, I think that going into the season, we, we didn't know any different. I think that you know we, he was certainly a, a starter and 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 and, and, and he'd been so successful before. Um, and then he retired, and of course then Jimmy McMillan comes in, and Jimmy really. Um, Develops as a player uh, and was a great player for us uh, that year. A great defensive player. He always also averages, I think, 19 points a game for us. So, um, you know, but everything just clicked. You know, again, we 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 started and we played. I know it's a cliche. You play one at a time, but we just started. You know, winning one game after another after another. Um, and, and I don't think any of us realized that the 33 game streak. You know, we knew at some point it was gonna, gonna, we're going to lose a game. I mean, we, we're not going to go the whole season, the rest of the season with, with a win. But I don't think any of us really realized how significant and how uh, uh, tough that is to do. And, and you know, I've always said that uh, records are made to be to broken, but I'm not so sure that this one is going to be broken. You don't think this one will be broken? I don't think so. I think there's a few records. Uh, DiMaggio's 56-game win streak, uh, uh, you know, hitting streak. Uh, certainly, the NBA rebounding records are not going to be broken because they don't miss that many shots anymore. <laughs> but I, I don't, I don't know. I think there's too much parity. Uh, there's more, much, much, there's more parity than when, in the league now than before. What was the, I guess, the feeling of leading up to that championship series? The Knicks, just given the fact that there had been so much history before, when guys get to the finals and a lot of them against Boston, where one well, come out. What, what was kind of the feeling with just dealing with all that? Well, I, I think during the, the, the season we won, you know, 69 games, 33 in a row. I, I, we expected going into that series that we were going to win. At that point, I mean, we, we were very confident. Uh, we got a, uh, we lost the first game by 20 or something like that, and that was sort of a, an eye opener. That was a, a, you know, okay, we got to, we got to really buckle down here because because that that first game was a shock to us, uh, and then we won the next four. Uh, but I think going to that series, uh, we th certainly I expected us to win. I didn't, you know, I, I I know that there was history there, and I was part of that history of losing in the finals, but. Um, I, I expected to, to win that series, and, and, and we did. And I think we would have won the next year in '73. That we lost the Knicks that year, but Jerry got hurt, right. and we couldn't beat him when Jerry was hurt. I mean, he played, but he but he but he really was hurt. And you know, uh, if he doesn't get hurt, I think I think uh, we go we go back to back. Yeah. Um, guys win. What, what's the feeling in the locker room after this? Well, the best I can remember, it's been 40 years, but we were, we were pretty excited and pretty uh, uh, just delighted. I mean, we, you know, uh, I know uh, I, I, yeah, Jerry, got, we got the curse off our back, you know, that we couldn't win with him. And so, so that was the first one the Lakers uh, won. Jerry, was he able to enjoy that? You're going to have to ask Jerry that. I think so. I, I think so. I think he was really relieved. Um, but, you know, uh, you're, you're going to have to ask Jerry. <laughs> Lastly, with just this event, what are you looking forward to? What do you hope to get out? Well, I, you know, it's it's been 40 years, a lot of great memories. It was a very special year, and uh, I think that um, you know it's good to see some of these guys who I have not seen. Uh, I've talked to you know, been in touch with a few, but over the years, less and less now as, as time goes by. Uh, but it's good to see the guys, uh, the, my teammates. Um, you know, unfortunately, three of them have passed away, but. Uh, there's others that uh, it's, it's going to be great to see, spend a little time and visit.